Hello and welcome to this week's Warriors HQ from Scotsdale as the Warriors take on the Ospreys. Coming up on this week's show, we've got highlights of our 1916 win over the Ospreys. We catch up with Darcy Ray, who is on loan at Bennett and Treviso, and we speak to former rugby operations manager Graham Beveridge on his first day in his new role at BT Murrayfield. Next Friday night we play Zebri in the Guinness Pro 12 at Scotston. This will be the second time in three weeks that Glasgow have played the Italian side, with the Warriors winning 54-10 in Parma earlier this month. So get your tickets now from GlasgowWarriors.org. So joined by Darcy Ray here who is currently on loan at Bennett and Treviso. You've come along to Zebri to support the guys. How are you enjoying your time in Italy? Yeah, I'm enjoying it quite a lot. It's, it's a bit different from back home, but um, it's pretty good. You're playing quite regularly, that must be great as well. A great experience yeah, for you. It's brilliant, it's brilliant getting some, um, getting some game time, playing against all the big teams as well. So we played Ulster, we played against... We, also played, we played Sabri twice, that was a big derby, that was real good. Like see here, it's, not, it's quite quiet today, but see when we played them, it was bouncing. It was bouncing and it was, it was pretty epic. Joris is still a young guy, you've played at a number of clubs such as Mar and Air. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. does playing across in Italy compare to all that? It's essentially rugby, it's pretty much the same, but it's weird because I know there's some boys here that know boys from back home and stuff. It's a small, small world, but it is different. Like the language barrier and stuff like that is a bit different, but yeah, it's good. Last week, the Warriors announced their first new signing for next season with Italian international Simone Favaro agreeing a two-year deal at Scotson and the 26-year-old will join from Bennett and Treviso in the summer. Glasgow Warriors held a community event at Scotston in partnership with one of the club's sponsors, Deep Freeze, which was attended by coaches from clubs in the west of Scotland. The evening was titled Injury Prevention, Preparation and Rehab and speaking to the group was Colin Brown from Deep Freeze along with the club's rehabilitation physiotherapist Ali Little, SNC coach development officer Peter Jurisevich and flanker Chris Vassero. Number 8 Adam Ash became the 8th player to commit his future to the Warriors by signing a 2 year deal to stay at Scotland until May 2017 and it was announced that Canadian winger DTH van der Merver would be leaving the club in the summer. He signed a 2 year deal at the Scarlets. Former player and now former rugby operations manager Graham Beveridge 
presented the match ball before our win over the Ospreys on Saturday. On Monday morning, Jamie McMillan caught up with him in his new role at BT Murrayfield. I am the new head of the, the regional academy, the BT Sport Scottish Rugby Regional Academy in Edinburgh. So, uh, my primary role will be to, to manage the staff within the academy, uh, manage the delivery of the academy programme, and, and work very closely with all stakeholders in the academy structure to, to try and ensure we, we maintain or improve the quality of, of young players coming through into the professional game in Scotland. Quite a change for a number of reasons, uh, Graham. You were obviously based in Glasgow, you're now through in Edinburgh. But saying that, how much did you enjoy your time uh, as Rugby Operations Manager with Glasgow Warriors? I know, I loved every minute of it. Uh, you know, it was a big change coming up from, from down south where I was working in finance to, to get back into get back into rugby. But obviously having played it with Glasgow, Glasgow Warriors um, for a number of years before I moved down south, you know, coming back, back into the sport I'm passionate about and I've spent most of my adult life playing. Uh, you know, it was fantastic to go to work every day. Who were the most interesting characters at Glasgow? Um, that's a good one. I think Nico is certainly keeps you busy, shall we say that, but he's, he's such a nice guy uh, that you really don't mind uh, trying to help these guys out. John Welsh is a bit of a character as well um, and was never, never quiet. But uh, I think the biggest memory of, or the, my favourite memory of working more than was with them, sorry, is just seeing the effort that they put in during the week and then seeing that uh, coming uh, to fruition on the pitch. So. You talk about how hard these guys play, Graham. and your last match was against Ospreys, a tough, tough game which the boys won. Must have been great for you to uh, see them win your last game. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's fantastic to, to go out with the team on top of the league, if you like. You know, I, I, hopefully I played a small part in that, but you know, really it's down to the hard work and dedication of the players and, and the coaching staff. How different is it for you, Graham, now with this growing fan base at Scotston? Well, I think you know it's another difference I, I, I've noticed. I mean, when we, when I played, if we got crowds of two and a half thousand, we thought we were doing well. And I think uh, the, the, when I look back, I think they were rugby fans who sometimes come to watch Glasgow. What they've got is a real hardcore of Glasgow Warriors supporters, and you know that's their team first and foremost, and, uh, and their supporters of wider Scottish rugby. Don't forget, Warriors HQ is available for free every Wednesday evening at 5pm on Glasgow Warriors TV at youtube.com forward slash Glasgow Warriors.